the king of all jewelry, the diamond. Armed with our super cameras, we will explore the diamond's mysterious luster. How have diamonds captivated us for centuries? Their bright sparkle. Their shiny splendor captures our hearts and leaves us spellbound. But just where do diamonds get their eternal dazzle from? Let's take a closer look with the aid of a digital microscope. Light reflects off of numerous surfaces or facets of a diamond, creating a complex confection of light. The glass jewel on this ring has a similar shape to the diamond. Let's see which of the two shines brighter. Due to its transparency, very little light reflects off of the glass jewel. The winner, by a long shot, is the diamond. does light reflect off of the inside of a diamond and give us the bright sheen that it is known for? Let's shine a light, or rather, a special laser beam into the diamond and see what happens. Breathtaking, isn't it? All this light, produced by one laser beam, The beam hits the diamond, then bounces back into numerous thin streams of light. This is the source of the diamond's luster. The glass jewel cannot even begin to match it. Countless streaks of light stretch in innumerable directions all across the room. Let's take a look at the inside of a diamond. The laser beam enters the diamond and reflects off of its lower facets, and then reflects off of the diamond's side facets as well. This splits the light in two, sending it off in separate directions. If we were to rotate the diamond and change the location where the laser hits it, the beam would bounce off in numerous directions, resulting in a blinding display of light. The diamond's luster can also change considerably depending on how it's cut. The most beautiful of these cuts is the upside-down, triangle-shaped, round, brilliant cut. The upper section, or the crown, has 33 facets, and the lower section, or the pavilion, has 25, adding to a total of 58 facets. The 
beautiful round brilliant cut is created by specialists known as diamond cutters. In this workshop, diamonds that have already been cut are polished to further increase their luster. It is a meticulous process that involves polishing each facet by hand. Exerting too much pressure while polishing could even destroy the diamond. Diamonds are said to be the hardest natural substance in the world. However, if we were to fix a diamond in place and hit it lightly from above, it would break all too easily. In spite of their hardness, diamonds are also known to be quite brittle. Therefore, polishing diamonds requires exceptional skill. Now, how is a diamond polished? First, the cutter pulls out some white powder. This is essentially diamond powder. With the use of an electronic microscope, we can see that these are tiny diamond particles. By coating the polishing wheel with this powder, the diamond can be smoothed into meticulous shapes. And we are all set to go. The diamond is placed against the wheel for only a short period of time, requiring a skilled artisan to give it the shape it needs. Let's take a look at the polishing process as filmed by a high-speed camera. Upon moving the diamond, something white seems to have appeared. Let's take another look. While it was only a tiny amount, the camera captured the powder polished off of the diamond. Cutters must feel out these microscopic polishes with their own two hands. Even the luster of a brilliant cut can vary greatly depending on the polishing work of the cutter. Let's compare the luster of the diamond before and after it was polished. Compared to the polished diamond on the left, the shine of the unpolished diamond appears to be uneven. Take a close look at the red squares on both diamonds. Hmm, the facets don't seem to connect well. If we were to look at the diamonds even closer, we can see that this section of the unpolished diamond isn't properly aligned. It's off by a mere 0.06 millimeters. Looking at this, we can tell that while unpolished diamonds aren't properly aligned, Polished diamonds have an even, aligned figure. Now, let us take a look at the bottom of the diamond, right here. Notice there's a difference here as well. Compared to the unpolished diamond, the polished diamond is perfectly symmetrical. Less than a millimeter separates the shiny luster of a polished diamond from the dullness of an unpolished diamond. All light that enters a round brilliant cut is reflected without fail. This beautiful, vibrant luster is the combined result of the diamond's properties and the skill of artisans.